Yeah, what, what? Yeah, come on to tap it. Show you the fear. The little magic. Daddy go spend. Yeah, we swag on the red. But school up it. My lord, I'm damn tired. What's my name? Come on, guys. This is not the most daddy challenge, daddy challenge daddy. okay? Let's man. <laughs> Welcome guys to an amazing episode of FYI with Crystal. Like I said, so excited to be here and um, of course, I mean, you've noticed that there's someone with me, BJ Pumpin. What's going on, bro? Yeah, it's good to have yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> on my show. <laughs> yeah, so basically, this is my brother, my immediate younger brother. He's like crazy ass drummer, like super, super good. And I mean, basically, we are locked up in quarantine together. So... You know, I decided to have him on this episode and I think going forward, I'm going to have him make several other appearances for other episodes I'm, I'm going to be um, shooting. So we'll be having a lot of collaborative effort. So um, what we want to talk about today, very, very simple. I mean, this quarantine has been crazy. How has it been for you? Wow. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I mean, other than adding weight. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm, uh, I just definitely have to shed the weight. And, I, you best you believe to, you have, have to. to. I mean, you know, so what we're trying to do right now is to put out certain tips, you know, tidbits and all you could, you guys out there could employ to lead you through this period of staying at home. Imagine that, God forbid, but imagine we had to be locked up, you know, for five months. What would you be doing? Are you just going to be eating and sleeping and waking up and adding weight i mean come on you should be able to add other things to your sphere of you know wisdom and knowledge other than weight you get what i mean okay why are you so on weight wait it's like no no i'm just saying i mean i'm not like body shaming anybody i would never you know but i mean everybody right now is susceptible to adding weight because you're basically not doing anything you're just staying at home and there's like lots of food to eat and also it's not like i'm taking it personal or anything i'm just saying okay, okay. like yeah add other things to your well of knowledge other than weight <laughs> why is it pinching you in the wrong way <laughs> okay so um brown let's let's you know let's talk to everybody out there so what is um one of those things that you've decided to do in this period shoot okay basically um <clears throat> you all know i'm a drummer a professional drummer so um what i'm going to say applies to every profession you know so for me you know that's out there and i have a lot of drummers that look up to me i mentor a lot of them i teach them you know it's a period for us to come out stronger you don't need to you need to sound better as a musician or as a drummer after this quarantine period you know it doesn't necessarily have to make you be lukewarm you know i think we just need to rehearse we need to come out stronger i think after this stuff there's going to be a lot of shift you know there's going to be a shift you know where they're going to sift the shaft from the wheat because they're going to know a lot of people who are not within harm their skills in this period so um this is just like, like a like a, like a wake-up call for us musicians i don't sleep i rehearse like right now this is like it's late kind of but I'm, after this i'm still going to listen to videos what drum videos i'm still going to rehearse and also it's a wake up call for musicians to come on better after this quarantine period exactly i mean in other words let it not be heard that you know after all of this break you still come back and socialize with everybody and you're like the same old same old yeah. i mean yeah, really no. that would suck all right so um one of the points for me one of the things i'm I, i've decided i'm doing already you know is um trying to read more and being in a situation where i'm more prone to having an atmosphere that's zen by zen i mean i'm able to meditate more i'm trying to like reinvent myself and i'm i mean I'm not blowing my trumpet but i'm somebody who is very talented in a lot you of blow things. your trumpet a lot <laughs> shut up <laughs> so you know so i'm just trying to like you know like reinvent myself and then discover something i don't know about me a new talent a new dream a new vision because there should never be a limit to how much a man can dream so everything i'm trying to like you know actualize and visualize now i will be definitely implementing it as soon as this quarantine period is over yeah so anything else for you okay back to wait wait <laughs> wait so i knew there was a reason you took it personal um, you know, oh. basically i had um I, I i stepped out of the house you know and some of my friends were like oh my god i haven't put belly i was like i don't know i don't know from where yes it's you true <laughs> very true you know, so basically I have a routine, um, which I do, you know, my sit-ups, I have like 10 routines for sit-ups because I need to stay fit, 
you know, I don't have to come out looking all, all big, you know, I need to stay fit, I need to shed some weight, you know, so basically this is for everybody, you don't have to eat, 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 sleep, sleep, watch what you eat, it's the best time for you to diet, if you want to come out slim, I think it's the best time for you, if you want to add weight, it's the best time, but just know what you want in the spirit, but don't come out fat. Exactly, health yeah. is wealth. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> All right, a, a final point pointer from me. We're well, just going to give you four for today, and then you know subsequently we'll do more of this. A final pointer for me is um, basically being able to, you know, um, verify information that I get, like my my research skills being top notch. Like there's so much conspiracy theory going on. Everybody is talking about something. Like your ears literally like oh my lord, it's crazy. Everybody has an opinion about the virus. Everybody has something to say. There's words from America, from China, from Togo. What do we believe right Everywhere, now? you know? It's so crazy, right? it's very simple. Know the facts for yourself. So if somebody comes to me and tells me something, or I see some broadcasts on WhatsApp, or I see something on Twitter or Facebook, the first thing I do is to go check out the details myself and be sure that, okay, this thing this person is saying is true, you know, and then avoid fear. Fear would, ne I mean, come on, two wrongs would never make a right, you know, but take it as a precaution and do what it is you ought to do, you know, to keep yourself safe and avoid anything that leads to catastrophe. All right, so that's been our four tips for today, things you can do during this quarantine. Any final words? Okay, um, fear, false evidence appearing real. Let's always learn to verify information. And all. We're all technologically inclined, it's 21st century. Thank Bob you very much. Friend. Thank you very much. Like your friends, like, you know, all the conspiracy theories going up. You just check it out. Verify. You know? Verify them and then, then, you know, stop spreading. Someone just sit at home and just send WhatsApp messages to everybody. It's crazy. It's, it's, no, it's no, crazy. No, no, no. Come on, don't yeah. do that. And then for you guys, you might be out there watching. If you're one of those people who does crappy things like that, you just, is, are you that bored? Well, thank God we've given you some tips, okay? So, you know, try and do some Shed of some these weight. things. Shed some weight. <laughs> weight. That's weight. body shape. <laughs> I weight, mean, of, weight, weight of the yes. unbelief. <laughs> yes, shed that weight of, you know, <laughs> of spreading fear. Shed that weight, you know, stop it. All right, guys, I love you for watching. Another episode coming soon, you know. Take care of yourself, take yeah. care of your loved ones. Peace. Peace, yeah. Thank you. Jesus Christ, it is seven minutes. See how talking is, you just keep going on and on. What's up Abuja? What's up Nigeria? This is your favorite drummer boy, BJ Brown.